Hi there, I'm Steve Boyko, and I am going to show you how to clean up a scanned photo using Adobe Lightroom Classic. Now, I have a scanned photo here of a green elevator collection that was taken back in April of 1992. The uh, prints are not in great shape, and they have a lot of uh, damage to them uh, through water and other things. So, if we look, for example, in at this one, you can see that there's little bits of stuff all over it, lots of green and so on. And my goal here is to try to clean it up so that it's presentable enough that you can put it on the web. Uh, probably not going to be able to clean it up enough that you can make a, a really quality print out of it because this was made with a pretty small camera, like a 110 or 126 camera, and it was, uh, you know, not, not a great print to begin with. So uh, let's go through it. Uh, I've applied a basic preset already. So the basic preset uh, boosts the shadows a little bit, takes the highlights down a little bit, I can tweak those. The dehaze, probably I don't want. Uh, sometimes in old photos you want a little bit of dehaze. Uh, clarity is important, but uh, I'm going to take that off for now. And uh, detail is very important. So I have, a, I have a sharpening mask here. I hold the Alt, you can see how the sharpening mask shows you what's going to be sharpened. I only want to sharpen the edges, and you can see it's, sharp, it's also sharpening some of the noise uh, and the grime in the sky, which we don't want. Uh, noise reduction is very important. So noise reduction is going to reduce some of this noise. So if I zoom in here, you can see if I go to noise reduction of zero, you can see there's a fair amount of green and so on here. But if I boost the noise reduction up to, say, 67, you see a lot of the green disappears, which is great. Um, but you get a, there's a trade-off between... Uh, if you boost the luminance too much, everything looks kind of plastic and out of focus. So you've got to be careful about where you go. For a scanned print like this, it's not in great shape. I will put it up to about here. Now there's a couple of tools that you can use in Adobe Lightroom, uh, especially the latest version that will help you. Uh, one of them is you can selectively pick the subject or the sky. And I like to do that to pick the sky and and uh, in these photos because the sky is where all the, most of the noise is. So I'm going to select the sky. See it, it shows me in pink uh, what the uh, what is selected as sky. You can see that a little bit of the elevator is picked so I can subtract using a brush. I can subtract a little bit of the elevator here so that it, it doesn't get included as sky. And uh, then I, only the actual sky gets included. So you can kind of just kind of drive it around a little bit. I'm not going to do anything too aggressive, so it doesn't really matter too much if I get a little bit of, of uh, non-sky included. And uh, there, see, I accidentally unselected a bit of sky, but that's okay too. I can always put, if I really wanted to, I could add it back, but I don't really care that much because I'm not doing much here other than uh, you'll see what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've selected what I think is going to be this. What, what should be the sky. I'm going to turn the overlay off so I can see what's going on. And then here is where I can twiddle what uh, settings I want. I'm going to take the sharpness down to make everything a little blurry. And I'm going to crank the noise up even more. And um, the other thing I'm going to do is the clarity. I'm going to take it down. So basically I'm trying to blur everything in the sky. And what that does is, now I'm going to say done. What that does is a lot of these things are now pretty indistinct. There's, there's a lot less uh, junk in the sky. I was going to use a different word, but uh, a lot less junk in the sky. But it, I, because I did a careful select, I only did uh, the sky and not the elevator or anything of, of particular interest. Now, the next thing to do is uh, the elevator. Maybe I want to boost that up a bit. So I can go there again, create a new mask, and I'm going to select the subject, and I'm going to wait, and uh, it should pick the, yes, the green elevator, and it happens to also pick uh, some things here of interest. That's great. So uh, I'm okay with that, even the poles. And so turn the overlay off. And what I'm going to do basically is just tweak the, tweak the brightness just a little bit. Take the highlight down because that side of the elevator is a little bit bright. And boost the shadows a lot like that. And put a little clarity in it. So I'm only doing the clarity on the elevator because if I do clarity in the sky, it's going to bring out the noise. But if I break do clarity here, because I've got, I've got only this part selected, I'm only we're doing clarity on the stuff that's interesting so that and you can see what happens here this is what it used to look like and this is what it looks like now so it makes a bit of a difference 
So now I'm at the point where I can start deleting all these little artifacts. And this is just kind of tedious work. So what I'd like to do is like to zoom in and I hit Q, which is uh, spot removal. And I'm going to do heal, not, not, uh, not clone. And you can use the mouse wheel to make the spot bigger and smaller. I'm not going to do every one of these little dots. I want to get the ones that are noticeable. So I'm, I'm going to do this. And mostly you just let Lightroom do it, but sometimes it'll pick stuff that you don't want. So I basically, most of the time, I'm going to trust in where it lands it, but you see it seems to be picking up uh, healing with uh, things that already have garbage in them because there's so many. And um, so I have to kind of clear things up. Usually it's better than this at picking things. And, I'm, and because it's just blank blue sky, I don't really care too much. Uh, I'm not preserving any detail here. We'll get to, into more of that when we get over to the elevator. Uh, so all I'm doing really here is just trying to make make this into straight blue sky. I could probably, if I had a big area, I could probably even clone it and it would probably look all right. But here's here's where I need to be a little more careful is because in the elevator, I, I want to preserve some detail. So I'm going to get pretty small with these things um, and start clicking around. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the biggest ones, the, the most obvious ones. And uh, this is just tedious. Tedious work is really what it is. And the, the key to this is at the start is to is to try to scan as well as you can and do clean up the image, uh, clean up the print or the negative or whatever you're scanning as much as you can before uh, scanning so that you don't have to go through too much of this. I didn't really have that choice because the print is uh, damaged. So um, that's what I have to do here. So there's, uh, there's the first page. Now I just hit page down and it goes to the next part. And so I'm going to zoom up a bit bigger. There's less stuff here. Um, the, the darker blue sky seems to have more uh, junk in it. So I'm just cleaning up here. This part here is really all scratched and stuff, so there's not a lot I could do about that. I'm going to try to clone it as much as I can, but it's not going to be perfect because there's so much junk in there. If I really cared a lot, what I could do is I could bring this down to pure black and try that by doing a mask, but uh, I don't care that much. We'll see how it looks when I'm done. So I'm, I'm okay here, page down, and then clean up these obvious big ones. And I'm just clicking around and taking what they, taking what Lightroom decides. Um, when you click like this, you can always hit the, uh, the forward slash and it'll choose the next one so that you can very quickly, if you're a keyboard person like I am, you can quickly uh, move on to the next selection of where it's going to pull a good sample from to heal. Uh, I don't, again, I'm not really too concerned here. I just want to get rid of the big obvious stuff. Okay, page up, and then it moves up to the top of the next one, and we're back into the bad sky. So, click around. Just trying to get the, get the worst of it out. And again, I'm going to go back afterwards, and when I zoom out, and I'm going to try to uh, see what I can see. So there, that was a, there was a hair there, so I'm trying to get rid of that. And because sometimes, you know, when you're zoomed in like this, some of these things look really awful. But when you zoom, when you zoom out to, to regular viewing size, they're not so bad after all. So don't get too hung up on getting rid of every last one of these. Some of these you just can't see when you're not zoomed in 100%. And again, it depends largely on what your intended purpose of this image is. If you're going to make a print out of it, then you probably should spend more time on getting rid of these imperfections because they're going to show up. But uh, a lot of times it's not really visible. If you're like making an image for the web, it's not really visible. Okay, and then these are probably not visible, but get rid of them. And then here we're getting near the end. We've got to the right edge. And then the other thing is you can always hit the uh, A key to, to reveal spots. It's going to be kind of alarming when I do that. But, uh, okay, so we go press Q again to get rid of it, zoom out, and then here I'm going to reveal spots with the A. 
you can see there's a lot of spots, but there's a lot of fixes too. So there, there's these spots here, which probably, which look bad. If I take the A away, can I really see them? I guess I can, so I'll get rid of that one. And then here I'll take the Q away and I'll just have a quick look by eye. And I can see that this isn't great here. There's a lot of little noise here, uh, but it's not bad. And uh, so there's a few more that I could probably get rid of. But that's, that's basically uh, the worst of them. And uh, as long as you can just keep clicking forever if you want, if, if your image is that bad, like this one is kind of dirty, then uh, you know you can you can spend a lot of times with this, and it's really helpful to have a fast computer when you keep doing these cues, uh, spot healing, because uh, it on a slow computer it logs it right down. So there's the um, there's the image uh, cleaned up. If you go, I'm going to go back to my history here, go all the way back to the beginning, and uh, start right here. You can see the difference. That's what it looked like before I started cleaning up. And and then here it is after. The only other thing is this one here is I need to clean up. That is actually uh, not in the image. There is a piece of film over the top of this. And so uh, the way to clean these things up is to kind of do it in pieces. So you do this piece here and then Lightroom wants to put the wire in there. So no. And then you do this piece here, and then you do this piece here, maybe. Include the wire, and it'll try that one. And then you do this piece here. So basically, you can't do it all in one shot because it'll look very artificial. But if you do it chunk by chunk like this, and then maybe here, use this as a sky, you'll find that when you're done, it looks pretty good, actually. Just want to make sure I include something with a wire in it so it looks more natural. There. And this part. Sure. That's good. And then this part here. It can go kind of wild over here. And then we'll back out. This is better. And then I just have to do this part here. And here I can go really, really, oops, really crazy with it. And, uh, do a big swath because it's basically just featureless sky. So that's not bad. It's, there's still a little bit here that um, maybe I could pick a different part of sky. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And uh, so that that uh, did the trick. It looks a lot better in my opinion. And uh, that's basically how you should uh, be uh, one way to edit uh, dirty cleanup uh, dirty photos in Adobe Lightroom Classic. Uh, how do you clean it up using spot removal and a few other techniques. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and uh, like and comment the video. Thanks.